All right, what is up, guys? Na4 here, and welcome back to yet another movie review. And today we're talking about 2021's version of Candyman, not the 1992 version. And also, before we kick this thing off, I do want to shout out the director of the film, Nia Da Costa. She actually just made history because now officially, Candyman is the first movie directed by a black woman to open up number one in the box office in the United States. So definitely shout out to her. That is a huge achievement, man. Definitely did her thing with this one, and um. That's a huge th that's a huge deal, at least to me. But um, we're going to be talking about this movie, okay? Did I enjoy it? Did I not like it? Oh, and also one thing I have to shout out because people keep getting this wrong. People keep saying this is the sequel. <laughs> well, I mean technically it is, but people keep saying this is like the second Candyman movie when it's not. This is technically the fourth Candyman film. Uh, a lot of people don't know that because you know nobody really saw Candyman two and three, <laughs> but um, yeah. So you know this is now officially the fourth Candyman film. Um, I guess two and three aren't really canon. I don't know, but yeah, we're gonna just hop straight into it, you know, and let I'll let you guys know what I thought about this movie. All right. So enough talk about the intro. Let's do it. And also I apologize. I don't know why my microphone is acting kind of stupid today. I'll try to fix it, but um, I also have to say, if you have epilepsy, you should probably skip this movie, okay? There are lights and lots of flashing lights all throughout the movie, so if you're one of those people who can't handle that kind of thing, then I would advise that you skip this movie entirely, because, you know, there is a lot of that throughout the entire movie, so yeah, definitely wanted to share that with all of you. But, um, yeah, I thought this movie was actually pretty solid. I actually really enjoyed it personally. Um, it wasn't, like, perfect or anything. I don't think it's going to break any records or anything like that. I mean, it did just make history, so <laughs> clearly it's doing something right. But um, I thought this movie was actually pretty solid, pretty enjoyable. Um, I think it's a cool little slasher film. I really thought that it was interesting. I was actually really invested throughout. This movie actually exceeded my expectations. I really went into this thinking like, okay, it's just going to be like a cool slasher. Because, you know, I don't think anyone really loves Candyman. I don't think Candyman is anyone's favorite, you know, like horror movie uh, character. Maybe he is. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I wasn't like too excited for it. But after I watched it, I was like, this was actually really freaking good. But I really did enjoy the cast for this movie a little more than I thought I would. Um, because they're not, you know, just the typical generic teenagers getting killed off in the woods and stuff like that. These characters are actually pretty interesting, pretty relatable and stuff like that. And I really did enjoy the main character. He's kind of like an artist type of guy who gets interested in Candyman and his history and stuff like that. And it was pretty believable, I guess. I, I'm not like an artist or anything like that, so I can't really relate. <laughs> but um, you've seen the, I forgot his name, but you've seen him before. He's pretty good. Uh, the rest of the cast also pretty good, and I'm glad to announce that Tony Todd himself, the icon, the legend, the original Candyman, actually returns for this movie, and I am very happy and very satisfied with that. He's good in pretty much everything that he's in. He can never do any wrong. So I really liked it, okay? I'm pretty satisfied. It was really creepy, very unsettling, and um, yeah, I really enjoyed it, man. Um, I'm glad that Tony Todd did return for this one. I don't think it would have been the same if they tried to recast him or anything like that. So definitely shout out to you guys. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite horror movie of all time or anything like that. But I thought it was a pretty good time. Like I said, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. So clearly it did something right for me. I would definitely watch it again. Um, I thought it was really, really good. Very creative. And yeah, just overall, I really enjoyed this movie. Like, honestly, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's, like, perfect or anything like that, because it's not. But I think the good outweighs the bad, personally. Um, I thought that the kills were pretty creative and inventive, and that's because of the, like, amazing cinematography and stuff like that, and, like, the amazing, like, mirror tricks that they do in this movie. Because, you know, obviously, you got to, like, look in the mirror, Candyman, Candyman, you know, say it five times, whatever. So they, re they really did utilize the mirrors really, really well in this movie, which I really appreciated. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, overall, it is a, like a pretty good looking movie throughout. Um, so yeah, that was also pretty good. Like I said, man, it's pretty, pretty bloody, pretty gore. I don't think I had a single scene where I was like, 
oh, like that was really gruesome and gross. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I've seen too many scary movies. Um, if you don't like scary movies, you don't like jump scares, you don't like being like all shaken up and stuff like that, then maybe you won't like this movie. But um, I thought it was pretty solid, man. I definitely did enjoy it. Um, yeah, I honestly can't say much bad about the movie. Had a pretty good lengthy runtime, and I'm glad that they gave uh, Candyman some pretty good, well-needed character development and, you know, a little bit of a backstory. You know, I'm glad that they went that route instead of, you know, just like, go, oh, just go kill some random people. You know, we actually know about the character. We actually got to learn more. And I also appreciate this movie because it touches on real life situations. I'm not going to like speak too much into detail about it because I know that is a very sensitive subject, which is very understandable, but I did really enjoy them adding, you know, those little moments and details into the movie. Um, and you know, Jordan Peele, he also worked on this movie. He's the same guy that worked on Us and Get Out. Uh, you know, we know him from, you know, starting off in, like, a comedy background, transitioning to, like, the horror movie scene within, like, the, like, uh, past recent years. So he really did well with this one, man. I think he did a pretty solid job. Um, I know a lot of people didn't really like the movie Us. I thought it was solid. I think it is probably the weakest out of the three now. Just because I really like this movie, I might be you know a little biased just because I just seen it <laughs> but I don't know I, I really can't say much bad about the movie overall I thought it was just pretty solid like I said before at the beginning this is technically the fourth Candyman film so I don't know it's definitely between the first one and the sec uh, this one sorry not the second one <laughs> because the first one has so much nostalgia but this one is just a beautiful good made film uh, so yeah if you you know, enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Definitely make sure that you guys go check out Candyman. It is a good time. And yeah, man, I am out. Oh, I forgot to give a rating. Uh, I guess I'll give this an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, man. So definitely go check this movie out. But I'm out. Peace.